is your funniest and most memorable moments from working together? Watching Roger. Claire demand <laughs> chocolate and watching her get angry. Why do you? I never no, get you angry. You don't get angry. And someone, but when the red mist descends, <laughs> I, I find it just just wonderfully entertaining because it's never with me. No, I'm never angry at you. No. Well, I'll be angry at one. Well, really? Yeah. Well, Maybe I never showed it. What for? Um, what did I do? I don't know. I don't think I've ever been angry at you. Really? Yeah. <gasps> Me and him have a big problem with sweet things. Yeah. And at a certain point in the day, we both start the day really well and say yeah, we're not really gonna good. We're not, not going to do, do it. it. And then th oh. if there was ever any eye contact at any point, it, there would be a silent communication of oh, what's going to happen. Let's get the minstrels out. And then, then it was all hell break loose, and then there was a moment where we'd hate each other and ourselves. And ourselves. And, our and we're going to a sugar coma, and, and it's, it was, you know, it was bad. Um, well, you know what to get for Christmas now. Just get loads of chocolate. Yeah, no! But, but, go on. Shovel it down at Christmas. Okay, oh. really nice selection. Oh, what, what, what? In the end of episode four, where Margaret comes back having met Tony, she then explodes into her room. We put on a track, and I had to coordinate, kind of going around, turning all the lights on in time to the music. And then I sat back down the chair, and I sat back down, and I went right over, my heels went right over, and fully, fully did like a fully whatever, what do you call it? Like, like a, a back roll? Like a back roll, like a full blown, and the heels flying. Um, and everyone went deathly silent and like didn't laugh. I was like, guys, you have to laugh because it's like you just left me on the floor. Um, so that was probably we were in like fits of giggle. We kept watching it on playback for like weeks. Then you just have to redo the scene again, pretend it's never happened, yeah. straight face. Yeah, and it was the first day of filming as well. I'm a, I'm super clumsy. I don't have much coordination, so it was. I don't think it was unexpected, really. You guys both have very posh British accents in the show. Can you show us how to do your best accent? There's only one thing you need to know about that accent, and it's that you need to say. One. One. How do you say was, Matt? Oh, don't get me started on was and was. I mean, for <laughs> God's sake. You don't know which way's up, do you? Well, Whether... was apparently is the right way, but it was... Was one. One. Was one. Was one. That was a real yeah. that was a bee in my bonnet. It really was. It really <laughs> was the thorn in his side. So how did you know what was the right way to say things? And how did you learn how to say it in the right way? There's a guy called William who's there with a cattle prod if you get <laughs> was or was. He has a taser gun. Sort of tasers <laughs> you. Says, and then uh, you say it correctly. Yeah, it hits you around the face of the fish and then you yeah. say it right. I'm actually thinking this is happening. So the camera's on your face, taser gun's below the wrist. Yeah, he no, literally yes. goes, he shouts in, no, say one. He has never done that. You're, but you're you know what I mean. Tarnishing his good name. No, but that's essentially what happens. Yeah. And do you get into character with the voices, you know, try and keep yourself within the voice? You did that sometimes. Did I? Yeah. I'd see you going, <laughs> <laughs> talking to yourself. <laughs> People do very strange things on film sets too. They do. Before, before they say action, where you think you're in your own world and actually everyone's going, what are you doing? It's so weird, isn't it? And then, because it's not how life is, suddenly you go, and now acting! Yeah. And it, we should And now fake emotion! Oh my God, practice all the time. On set, it was so it was such a, a weird accent to do, and and we ended up having to treat it like a dialect, because if you didn't, you ended up sort of being like slightly like a parody of a posh accent, and it's just a really weird accent, and it's got a lot of German um, accent in it because of the heritage. Practice all the time. I mean, Claire, Matt, and I would actually on set go around all the time in the accent, speaking with the dialect coach, and you'd have to maintain it because otherwise you felt really weird. Can you give me a line of British? What would you like me to see? It's, it, it becomes very easy because you have to practice so much. Apparently you guys got tasered if you got it wrong, so there was a voice coach that would taser you. <laughs> oh my God, I know, literally after everything, I'd be like, oh, I forgot the because. <laughs> I forgot the because. Sorry, William. Yeah, it's things like because and like, I don't know, actually, things like that. Mm -hmm.